大家好，这里是湾区华人电视台，很高兴又跟大家见面了。Jack， 欢迎你收看今天的节目。今天上午，由硅谷华人协会牵头组织的反对十六号公投提案，也就是此前大家比较熟知的 ACA 五抗议活动，在东湾 Fremont 举行。这是继上周六在 Cooper T 六之后的第二场车队游行抗议活动，基本上保持了三百车和六百人的规模。活动先由主持人托里介绍基本情况，然后是八位嘉宾发言。演讲结束后是浩浩荡荡的车队游行。我们的报道节选 Fremont 华裔市议员邵阳的演讲和部分车队游行现场。邵阳的演讲慷慨激昂，说我们亚裔不是沉默的一族，而是敢于发声的群体。今天我们就要在这里呐喊，反对任何的种族歧视，反对十六号提案。下面我们就一起来听他的演讲。Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fremont. Even though many of you are wearing masks, I, I believe all of you are wearing masks. But I believe,、uh, you know, a lot of people、uh, are my friends and、uh, residents here in Fremont. We all know what happened on Monday. A group of people showed up in front of Mayor May's house, and they wrote down on the ground in chalk, "Asian silence." Equals to violence. Well, today we show them that we are not silent. We come out and voice out our opinions, opinions against any racism, against any discrimination, against Proposition 16. I brought with me the national flag of the United States of America, and so did many of you. I believe that when we all come to this country, we have this belief: this land is the land of freedom and no discrimination. We all come here because. We can get equal opportunities instead of equal result. We work hard, and we try to become a diligent citizen, a contributing citizen to this society. We work hard, and we try to provide our children the best education. With that, they can get the best opportunities in employment and other chances in the society. However, Proposition 16 says no to our American dream. I used to be on Fremont Unified School District Board, and in 2018. I was the president of Fremont Unified School District Board, and I have the front row experience to see how the California public education system failed to provide each and every one with equal opportunity. In order to get rid of the performance gap. Between different ethnic groups, instead of putting more money at the early stage of the education, like in elementary school or even kindergarten, they simply try to get the standard lower and lower. What is more, the high school graduation exit exam is canceled. So that no matter what you do, everyone can graduate from high school. I don't think this is helpful to everyone. This is a disservice to all the taxpayers and their children who can get quality education. Yes, we want everyone to succeed in this society. Yes, we want everyone 
to get high-quality education at the early stage of their lives, so that everybody, regardless of race and skin color and uh, social economic status, can all succeed. This is the, the real America. This is the foundation where our American dream is built on. However, Proposition 16 failed to do that. Instead, it tries to demolish this foundation, this basis of our American dream. So we have to say no to Proposition 16. Agree? Yes. Thank you. Today, we will gather together and to show not only to Fremont, not only to people who have kids in school, but everyone in the society that A, Asians are not silent, and B, Asian is for a better America. 八位嘉宾的演讲结束后，盛大的车队游行开始，大家已经迫不及待要上街发出我们自己的声音。下面就来看一些精彩片段。给你们一个特写。
奇而易见，这是一场盛大而且胜利的游行。据组织者介绍，下周六将进行第三次盛大的车队游行抗议活动，将在山谷地区的普莱镇城。希望下周能够见到你，我们下期节目再见。